edition of the Ch Shining Legends Chapter 3! I, of course, am kind of most beloved Overlord, Real God, Stork, Nero, Deal, Pointing, Steam, Pumps, Drummond, Flying Boy, and Fly, Fly, Guy, 98! Coding! Mo, just say. Our Spirit King Hero! Uh, who has had five minutes of nothing but issues with Team Discord! <laughs> I have been dealing with this. You was this court for 30 minutes! <laughs> <laughs> Although I can't wait for the Loki series. Anyway, uh, um, okay. our uh, Crimson Pfizer, or Cody Crimson. So, Discord woke up this morning and said to Hero, I got you for five minutes. Of five time. minutes of late time! <laughs> Christ. Our, our, uh, giant sling, playing goblin set. Hi, fan. He was ready to get, he was ready to get a new gun. And finally, we're led by our wonderful DM, Marcus. That would be me. Has everyone got your thinking caps on? Well, uh, firstly, before we start, I'll have to use lay on hands on myself and get <laughs> fight something. Well, oh, well, well you, you could, you, you could do that. Yeah. No, I'll do that as you're walking. So, uh, by the way, uh, we're going to be walking by, by, down by the, the way, corridor. By the way, no, by the way uh, no more Leon's hands for everyone. I use it all myself. Mm. All right. So, as we're walking down this corridor, you're going to be touching yourself around us. That's creepy. Gotta <laughs> 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 make it weird. You had to make it weird. Of course. Why did you have to make it weird? But we're going down the corridor, so we, yeah. we might still have a mystery so. or rewrite history. No! <laughs> let's just let's just go. Let's get going here. Yeah. Anyway, anyway, well, anyway. Tall oh, on track that is uh is carrying his carrying no. his lantern and leading you down a dark corridor. He is actually these are very steep steps that that go down beneath his if you remember back the pantry in the back of his home. Uh secret door opened up, magic key stuffed away in a tin and he uh grabs a lantern and starts walking you down. As you go down, torches uh amongst the wall magically light up with a green uh glow that uh is and you notice no heat. It's just a magical light that seems to be lighting up as you yeah. descend. Um, only lighting the portions where you all are walking. So as you notice and you go further down, what seems to be like you're walking a fairly deep uh, flight of stairs, you notice that the light coming from the doorway up top eventually fades from view and you're walking down in a in a, an illuminated pocket of darkness uh, till uh, you see Toll's lantern uh, stop, um, and he gets to a uh, what looks like a dead end. Um, touching a few panels and stones, the dead end slides away, and you enter into a giant stone room, which is quite different from um, anything you would ever think would be halfling, and it's very natural stone as well. Uh, not <clears throat> Uh, not the kind of stonework you would have seen in, for example, the mountain uh, uh, Blagendale where you saw the dwarf handiwork. This looks a little different. Um, right. And if anybody wants to make a, oh, what would it be? History or nature check. I'll check. I'll take either one. I'll do nature. Uh, let's uh, go with, uh, I'll go with history. Let's see. <clears throat> okay. I can, I can actually really use it. What's this thing called a tree? <laughs> what, 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 Boy, what, yeah, what, what, what is tree? <laughs> okay, okay. So, so far, nobody really knows what. Make up for it. Uh, wow. Yeah, no, I did just as bad. Yeah. I, look look what, at the what, other what, side, what, though. Can, can I try, can I try a nature check? Nope, nature or history was not what I said. So you get a one shot. You pick whichever yeah. one might I'll, be better for you. So I'll, I'll do Rex hasn't done one yet. <clears throat> okay. Let's see if he can. <laughs> None of us know it. 
Nope. So you have no idea what the uh, what uh, you know what may have created this uh, this cavern based on the thing, but it's a, it's obviously this this room's gigantic. There's only one thing in the room uh, other than the, the green torches, which as soon as you walk in, illuminate the room on all sides. Um, the floor is a very uh, the floor is a very uh, like polished stone. There's no like tiles or anything on it. At the far end, you see um, you would almost mistake it for a like a sarcophagus because it's it's as big as like maybe a like a small tomb. But you recognize from uh, it having a handle on the top, and you notice objects on top of it, and um, that it looks like a an, a giant chest. Um, hmm. So hmm. at this point, at this point, at this point, um, Toll goes up, takes a few steps forward, and a blue shimmering uh, wall of energy appears in front of him. And he reaches Ooh. out and, and touches it, and it's, it kind of sparks, and he pulls his hand back real quick. When he does that, Right behind the wall of energy that you see, yeah. um, a glowing apparition appears of what looks to be a gnome wearing robes. Translucent, very much think of uh, of uh, Force, Force Ghost. Ghosts in Star Wars, kind of that kind of look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. And. And he's uh he sh he's uh he ap that appears behind and he looks up at Toll and he says, "Go back, you are not the prophesized one." And he says, "This is what one of you needs to touch the wall and see if he responds differently." I believe you may be who you claim to be, and I believe you may be the prophesized ones, but uh, this is the way to know for sure. I'll go first. So, so someone, someone from your group needs to do that. Whoever you wish to I'll, do, but do and before he, he stops you, he stops you before you go. But this person is the one that is going to be answering any questions hmm. the apparition here, here. may ask. Uh, uh, so choose wisely. Cairo, be smarter for me. Cairo, <laughs> then I'll touch. Then I'll touch. I second that opinion. Well, I mean, that's mm -hmm. okay. so do I. So you right. go up and touch it? Yep, I'm touching it. I'm doing it. <laughs> when you touch it, the apparition has disappeared when you touch it. Uh, you do see a, like a like a, an indication you've touched it. It's kind of glowing around your hands. You can't push through, but you do, don't see the spark and don't feel any kind of pain that it looked like Toll was having when he touched it quickly. Ooh. Ooh. So the same thing. This this apparition of this gnome appears on the other side of the uh, energy beam, and he kind of looks you up and down, um, and he says, kind of gives you like the little, when you kind of tilts his head to the side, and he says, my name was... Locus Lobel Mebel. Someone write, someone write that down. And it, I'll, I'll put, I, I, I'll put I, it in the I, I, I know it's called the first part. I get that Locus I'm pretty sure I know it's first Lobel Mebel. My name is Locus. Oh, so we should do this. <clears throat> we should do this theater of the mind style. Ah. Right? All right. Yeah. Greetings, hero. My name is Locus Lobelmebel. You have the air of one intertwined with fate. And he looks behind you. Oh, hi, this. And he looks behind you. There we go. <laughs> As do your friends. Oh, my God. 
He he leans back and looks up at you, snickering. But have you never heard a gnome voice before? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but this is uh, this is me snickering out of character. By the way, this is me just getting caught off guard by the uh, the higher pitch. Like, Same. Same. Same here. But in character, well, you guys are so immature. <laughs> Eh, whatever. I'm, I'm good. The, the guy has introduced himself, and you guys aren't even giving him an introduction back. And who okay. would you be, my horned friend? Okay, uh, obviously I would be uh, Cairo, as you can, well, as you can see by the clearly, you know, the one who's touching the wall. <laughs> So, oh. what makes you believe that you are indeed the ones prophesized to stop the giant uprising? That's actually, that's actually a really good question, actually, Dan. Oh, come on! I ask excellent questions for a gnome apparition from the past. <laughs> Points down at Goblin and says, "This thing has slain many giants. Take that as you will." Yeah. This this that tiny thing there. Yeah, that thing has killed like. We I we think, we. I guess I can kill like four of them. Uh, we have also helped it. It killed giants. True. I mean, I've almost died because of two of them. Thanks. Actually, three of them. So did I. <laughs> Probably best I not see. to mention that. So I can tell your party is strong, but are they wise? Just have really dumb luck. I mean, I mean, they, they thanks for the, the thanks wall, for so the clearly thanks for the faith these, in your you team, know. team Nix. I mean, I mean, hey, if, if, if they told me to touch the wall, and I'm clearly the you know the one who's making who's the one who's doing half of this stuff, yeah, I'm pretty sure we're pretty we're pretty wise. Then I have I mean... for you the first challenge. Okay. Uh -oh. All right. The first challenge is the Riddles 3. Uh oh. Are you, no. are you prepared for the first Riddle? Let's do it. <laughs> Listen closely. Pronounced as one letter and written with three. Two letters there are, and two only in me. I'm double, I'm single, I'm black, blue, and gray, and red from both ends, and the same either way. Hmm. 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 Interesting. What else is one letter? Would letter you like three. would you like it in your local in the local chat to be able to see the Yes people? please. Yes. yes. Yeah, that would be nice. I was literally trying to type her, but then I forgot everyone after Prince just written this three. <laughs> there we go. Double, I'm single, and black, blue, and grey, and from both ends, and same either way. Hmm. Okay. Uh. Wait, hmm. I might have a guess. Huh? Huh? What is it? Tone. Because tones can come in black, blue, and gray. And you can read them in either way. Yeah, but it's written with three. It's supposed to be written with three letters, though. At least, that, at least that's what this could be. But at least if that's to be taken literally, then it's only three letters. Yeah, but... I'm going to stick with, with my answer. And 
maybe try to present that as a, at least maybe the first answer to see if that's maybe in the right direction. Yeah. So what is your answer? A tome. He says. Yeah, tome. So what is your answer? A tome. He looks, he, he looks at you and he's like, hmm. Maybe not as clever as I thought. <sighs> Pronounced as one letter and written with three. See. He repeats that. Okay. Um. Pronounced as one letter and written with three. Hmm. That's the that's the tricky part. Hmm. Wait a minute. Huh? This page can't be a map, is it? Wait, no. Map isn't map isn't pronounced as map map is pronounced as one letter. No, because maps are pronounced as more than one. Hmm. Hmm. Pronounced, with, pronounced as one, written but with three. The letters there are, and took only in me. I'm double, I'm single, and the black, blue, and grey. It's a quite a perplexing riddle. No one's always known for that craftiness. <laughs> I will give you during this this riddle portion a total of four hints amongst all the riddles. So if you feel like you're stuck, I will give you a hint. We should probably right. use, we should only use we should only use a oh. the riddles unless we get hmm. one, wait we wait one hint. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I I I I think Scotty has an idea. What is it? What do you think? Hmm. Rest is one. Written with three. Black, blue, and grey are colours. Yeah. 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 So I'm double means there's two of them, yet they're pronounced as a single. Yeah. Yes. I have the answer. What is it? I'd like to put forward my answer. What is it? Locust the Rumble Mibble. And what is your answer? My answer is I. I. That is correct. Ah! Right. Holy shit! Okay, and, the and, the, and, the, and the shimmering barrier becomes a little more transparent. Still I was thinking about the guys, sure. two letters there are in the yeah. word I. Ah, which is written with three, yeah. two oh, E's and a Y. Yeah. I was thinking too literal. I wasn't thinking more metaphor I wasn't thinking more metaphorical. In the words of Tater Face, it's metaphorical. It literally actually was. That's the worst part. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Alright. Uh, I'm ready for Ritual 2. Do it. Yes. Yes. <laughs> what has six legs but walks with only four? What has six, six legs, six legs but, walks but only walks with only four? four. Hmm. Just for posterity, I will pop that question right there. Hmm. Hmm. Six things, but fuck with only four. Hmm. Wait, wait. Hmm. Wait, help, hold on. Wait. So, possesses six legs. It walks with a little bit of. So that could imply that two of the legs are either artificial or they're ex part of something else that are considered legs. Or the creature does possess six legs 
I'm going to use these four of them. Yeah, uh, that's a, 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 a creature. Could hmm. be something yeah, else. Here's the thing, though. I just thought, I just thought hmm. about this. What if it's more than one thing? Oh! Ooh. Good, I, good so idea! Is, I've already, I've, already, I've, already got, I've already got kind of a thought towards this. What if it was a horse and a rider? Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> Excellent work, my horn friend. Maybe you are clever. Well, and the thing shimmers to be a little more transparent. What was the answer? I didn't hear that. A horse and a rider. A horse, a horse with a rider. Yeah. Oh. Because a horse has has because if you if you look at it, the horse look. I mean, okay, look goblin. Angus, now that I hear the answer, I can figure it on my own. I'm not. Yeah, we we yeah. all know the uh, the oh, dullest yeah. pulling the shaded bolts over there. Excuse me. Let's just move on. Come on, let's go. Let's get this done with. All right. So what's the third and final riddle? Uh, I think there are four. There's three. There are three. The riddle's three. Thirty Maybe. men. With Great. two ladies. <laughs> Thirty men with two ladies gathered as for festivities. Dressed quite formally, black and white. Yet movement turns to a nasty fight. What am oh. I? I know this answer. Oh? This answer is quite simple. What? What is it? Thirty men. Two ladies dressed in black and white. The answer is a game of chess. Oh! oh! The first, the first barrier drops, and the apparition apparition beckons you forward to the to the chest. Um, you do notice that Vol is not able to proceed any further. He is he he tries to move forward with you and is blocked. The barrier does keep him out, even though you can one, see it no longer. It's a one-way barrier. Barrier, one barrier. It's basically. a. It mm -hmm. is for yes. So, um, he leads you up to the chest, and you see the chest has five indentions in the front of the chest. Hmm. And he point, hmm. and he points, and he and he he makes a show of pointing them out without saying things to you, and then he gestures to the top of the chest on which various metal pieces of shapes uh, appear. Okay. I can already, I can already kind of know he, where this is going, considering metal. And he says... Fill in the squares five. And proof of your mind and that you are wise will lead to the treasure you seek to become the heroes that prophecy has foretold. And then he vanishes. And you ready for the jump? <laughs> oh, 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 so, oh. So here's how this works. Oh my god, it's Tetris! Here's how this works. Uh, these pieces up top yeah. can be mm -hmm. used to fill in exactly those five squares. Everybody, ah. everybody has access to move them. So how you decide how you're going to do this is up to you. Once, once this puzzle is solved... Uh, it's goody time. Yay! Okay, so, so I will leave you to discuss. And oh. um, yep, okay. just like whoever moved that there and uh, and yeah, figure this out. Let yeah, let's each, let's each go. Let's each like go to one of like each go to one of them and essentially solve it from there. Because if we try to solve <coughs> it one at a time, bless you. Thank you. I, I will. I will give you a small hint that you Whoops. will need. There are three pieces that could fit into one, but okay. some of those pieces could be needed for another. So, okay. 
So right. what we'll do is we'll we'll try to solve them, but if we can't, if we figure out extra pieces that could fit into a different hole, we'll basically keep an eye on all five, but work on one base. Oh. Right. Got one. Oh, look at that! There's one done already. It's maybe quicker oh, wow. than I thought it was gonna be. Oh wow! Uh, was that by me or? That was me. I don't know. That who was did the that. L. That was me. So that's also, definitely... I also don't know for sure if that's right. <laughs> we'll, we'll know in it. We'll know once we get all five done. Then. Mm -hmm. No, that mm -hmm. one piece there. Um, that one piece there doesn't go there because it wouldn't. It wouldn't work. Oh, yeah, no. See, look, look at the little gap down there. That won't work there. But yeah, that won't. Work. No. All right. No, that yeah, that won't work. Well, that's why I was going with this one because this one actually fits this one. You, you... You no, gotta, you, you, you gotta think of this like Tetris, guys. None of, I never played Tetris. Well, that's your, well, that's, well, that's your problem. Now, whoever can look at those two squares the I have there, please stop. But uh, the thing is, that look at the two squares that are the gap there for that one. There's a gap there. Oh, there is. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Again, again, in Tetris, you basically have to fill in all the fill in. I right, to fill in as many of the spaces as possible, or in this case, you have to fill in all of them. So, hope there's a, if they're missing okay. space in any of them, it means something's wrong. Okay, so that's definitely there. I'll oh. say that. Oh! Yes! That's two! Oh, that yes. was me. I was just matching up colors that matched. Oh! Hmm. Also, remember, um... Oh, do, do we have the do we have the ability to rotate the pieces? I don't think you so. You can. I'm oh. not saying you should, but you can. Hmm. I believe you can rotate them. But if we, if we do. Okay, so that's three of. How do you rotate them though? Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna I borrow that uh, that piece that someone has below there. I'm gonna borrow that piece. Uh, don't take that piece by the way, because I have that <gasps> here. Ah, All right. Damn it! I damn it! Now I realize we're missing. We're missing at least a piece. Wait. We... Wait, some of the pieces got underneath other pieces, so you might have to move some out of the way to see where other pieces got to. Because uh, cause some pieces, I think, got un underneath other pieces, I think, somewhere in there. At least I don't know. That's where I'm not yeah, sure. Yeah, here's, here's... Okay. There you so, go. That can definitely go there. I know that for a fact. That can definitely the go there. We still, we still need to fill in the last two. Oh! Right. Bingo! No, no, no. Wait. No, nope. we're still missing what? a piece. We're still... We, we, made, we made a mistake somewhere. Okay. Mm -hmm. I really hope it wasn't. I didn't start to screw up. Hold on. I'm going to... I'm gonna move the pieces out of uh, of some of the squares here just to see if maybe if any of the pieces are beneath each other, just to see. All right. <clears throat> I'm gonna leave them like attached to each other. So essentially, I'm just gonna move them like up and around and shit, just uh, just to get them out. This is so right. cool. By the way, if you if you yeah. hold your if, if you hold your shift and if you hold your shift and click to select them all, you will. Uh... You can drag across and grab all of them, by the way. Oh, wow. Move them at once. So if I go, so. like, if I go something like... It's like we do like a mouse select. If you like select across, like there. if you're going to select icons on your desktop, yeah, you can move them up. So. Okay, so it's not but that might not be as beneficial as moving them individually so you can see if any of them overlap. Yeah. That's why I'm yeah. also, uh, that's why I was moving them out of the square right. for, to see if I can check underneath them. Mm. I'm just going to put right wait. here. Wait, hold on. Ah! One of them is longer. That was, I, I started to notice it when I was, that like, it was like, I put down a square and it was like, huh, that seems weird. Uh, let's see here. Hmm. I know some of these some of these squares that we have set up are. I know some of them are correct because like some of them have to be no correct. Oh, no, no. Okay. Uh... Mm. I 
feel like maybe this piece isn't in the right place. The one I just pulled off to the side. Hmm. Wait! Yes! Okay. Okay, That's okay. Cool. We're, 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 we're getting close. We're getting close. Gotta put this one back into place a while. So that would go in there. Okay, I'm just going just to just get back into place while well, so I don't keep Yes! Yes! Hell yeah! Woo! 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 Yeah, I'm using some a, of the feet you, matching colors. <clears throat> you hear a you hear a click, and the chest opens up, and your spectral friend floats Ooh. over Ooh, nice. the chest. And if you look in, all you would see in the chest is like a swirling eddy of magic. You can't even see. It doesn't even look like a chest. It looks like maybe Whoa. a portal to something. Ooh. It's hammer space. But he looks he looks at you and he smiles and he says Congratulations. I have one more question, but I do believe you are the heroes the prophecy has foretold. The question is for each of you to answer, and I will weigh your response. Why do you want to help? Okay. It is the right thing. And he looks it over and says, why? And, and he actually says, he says, he says, you, Warforged, you have the look of a holy paladin. Why do you want to help stop a giant uprising? Why do you want to be the prophesized heroes? It is only natural to help others. Earth. 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 He I wish. He considers your. He can. Cons go ahead. I wish. Sorry, to... Go ahead. <laughs> I wish to do. I wish to show. Oh, the, oh, the wharf. Or are capable of more than simple labor. Uh, they can be forces for good, and to also. Sh oh, I wish to remind my brother that for or that emotions do not make one weak. He looks at you oh. and kind of smiles and nods a little bit. Well spoken. You are less machine and more man than anyone gives you credit. And this brother of yours. Hmm. There's much evil magic around him, yes? There is indeed. He strayed from his, from the path that he and I, I originally were both on. I'm afraid to tell you, you have not seen the last of him. I and your path will, will end with one of you being no longer of this plane of existence. I understand, and I am willing to accept the turn... responsibility. Then he turns his attention over... To Rex. Oh. And you, Mr. Yes. Bard, why do you do what you do? Why do you want to be a hero of prophecy? To show that bards aren't just fit for writing songs and poems and soliloquies and the like, and that they can also be 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 allowed to properly fend for themselves as well as others along with experiencing life to the fullest of its extent he looks at you and he kind of does another little smile yolo am i right he gives you a wink <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> yeah, I walked right into that one. I need to get myself a voice changer. This is gonna be fun. Oh, this is fun. <laughs> it is. He looks. He looks over at at the the goblin, and he says, 
And you, the only fellow small one in your group. You know, we worked with ancestors of yours. Ooh. The small ones are the ones that gathered this and have been gathering magic for millennia to help those heroes we knew would come. So tell me, young goblin, why do you do what you do, and why do you wish to be a hero? Prophecies have foretold. I want to show that goblins can be also as good. Too long goblins have been associated with evil. I just wish to show that goblins can also be good. A fine, fine answer, my friend. And I will tell you, not all goblins have always been evil. The gnomes, the dwarves, the halflings, goblins, even... And he leans forward a little bit. Even the kobolds had some hand in crafting what you see before you. Hmm. So he looks over at Nyx. He says, and you are a dark one. I feel like uh, part... Uh, oh. You are right. sorry. I got it. I got it. Thank you. <laughs> he looks at. He looks at. He looks at Nix and says, "Ah, uh, you are a dark one. I feel like part of you. There are threads of you that have been in other planes, and back to ours, more than once. Like your yes. life is a thread that has been moving in and out of the material plane, almost as if sewing a long stitch." Why do you mm -hmm. wish to be with this group and help with the prophesized rising? Well, it is true. I have dabbled with the man down below. He still owes me a game of bloody battleship. But <laughs> why I travel with this group and why I do what I do. I'm a rogue. I do it mostly to keep myself in good pocket. I do have a side of me that wishes to help others, wishes to do good. But if the giants take over the place, there isn't going to be much work for a man of my calibre. Those people are too barbaric. They do not know the simple extract. They do not know the simplicity and complexity of commerce. I merely do it in my own personal interest for profit. Yet there's part of me that wishes to do good. And he, he considered... The most truthful answer I can give you at the current moment. And I believe you. Yes. I, I, I also believe you... What is the line? May protest too much about your good intentions. I understand. Rogues need to keep up appearances. Dark and shadowy and all that. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. And he looks back over to Cairo. And you, the clever one they sent forward in the first challenge. <laughs> Why are you here? You know the question. What is your answer? <sighs> well, my answer is that for 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 t for all too long. Tieflings haven't exactly been the most trusted race that I've seen in the world, and so it's just like our just like our little goblin friend here said, I've wanted to show that not all Tieflings are trying to swindle you out of all your money and possessions and move on to the next town to do the same thing again. Again, a fair answer. I am satisfied. Please. And he gestures. And he gestures his hands out. Sorry, I'm trying to do this right now in my voice. He <laughs> gestures his hands out, and, and in front of, in front of you, almost like a semicircle, like a story circle, there are um, five very nice, like, plush chairs that appear in a semicircle around. He goes, By all means, have a seat. And who wishes to go first? Hmm. Next, looks around and get in. I'll go later. 
no, no, actually, no, actually, actually, watch actually, gears. actually, I think Kyro should go first. All right. He's the one. Who, he, he he was the one, one who answer, who helped us answer the the first riddle. Well, and, oh, and he's he's one of the, oh, the most clever of the bunch. I feel he should have wait to go first. I answered uh, the first riddle. No, I was it's true. The, I was the uh, I was the second. I was the uh, I think I was the third one. Is where I got. Is where I was off. Fair enough, but st but still, but still. So, before out of game, before we get started on this, let me explain to you how I did loot, and it's good loot, guys. Um, All right. But but here's what I did. Um, mm -hmm. I picked a an amount um, that I wanted to budget for folks based on someone who I wanted to give an item that was a little higher. There's one person in the group that is getting one item, but it is one item that is about, for fair price stuff, about 7K more than the rest of your total things. Whoa. Like Whoa. everyone has a, um, but meaning, meaning what I budgeted was around right at two uh, 20,000 gold worth of things. Oh, damn. Damn. shit. Damn. One person has an, an item that go would go for about 27. And oh. um, just transparency, because this is they're getting one item. It's got a lot of functionality and a lot of utility behind it, and it fits the character. Um, some things that people asked for were either game-breaking or into the hundreds of thousands of gold pieces for fair price listings. So, and some people had things that were, even when they had what they gave me, I added more stuff to it because it didn't meet that budget. And if I got within a couple hundred of it, I, that's where I went. I didn't go down and like, it's not like you're going to get like, here's this and 20 gold. It's, this is what you're going to get. So I try to make it as fair as, I try to make it as fair as possible. Um, mm -hmm. And so, um, I believe most of these things you can find in the compendium to copy over into your uh, right. sheets. If um, not, let me know and I will help you get it in there because I may have pulled some of the stuff for, from things that are not available in this game. At least two items in here. I um, I homebrewed a little bit. All right. So um, And just kept things. So with that yeah. said... The, everybody's like Cairo's going first, so so he reaches, he goes back behind and kind of hovers over and reaches into the abyss. And the first thing he pulls out is a sack. Huh? <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Oh. This my tiefling friend. I had a friend who lived in a place much like this. You see, this is bigger on the inside. You. And you do know what it is. He tosses you a bag of holding. I toss you a bag of holding. He tosses you a bag of holding. <laughs> Bag Which, holding. The best part is though to uh the best part is to mess with my treasure thing to include the bag of holding there. All I literally have to do is just add bag of holding with the uh with a little bit of test at the side. That's all I have to do to my sheet. Yeah. Like that's so, basically where my sheet is coming. <laughs> right. So he right. so he, he then reaches in and um pulls out a, a, a closed fists. And he says, Hold out your hand. Okay. And then he opens his hand, and you see a shiny ring in the palm of his hand. And he looks at it, and it disappears and reappears on your index finger. This will provide you some bit of protection as you can protect others. Ooh. It is a ring... It is it is a ring of protection. Nice. Yes. Ooh, nice. Oh yeah, I want berries. I want berries. <laughs> on my stuff. And now this. He reaches in. He reaches in and pulls out 
uh, what looks like kind of almost like it's like a beret. You know what I mean? Like a black Woo! beret, like goes on your head. Yeah. And he and he tosses it, tosses it to you. Put this on. All right. Put it on then, I guess. <laughs> and then he he looks at you. He goes. Listen closely. Us, Amos, Tyrone. What? What? What the what? fuck? What? What? <laughs> Which you interpret as as a comprehend languages spell uh, goes off. You comprehend that that was draconic, and he said, "This will help you speak with people." <gasps> so, I, so I basically, it's basically. It's, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, instead of helm, it's a, it's a hat of comprehend languages. A chapeau, a beret, cool. a beret of comprehend languages. That is cool as hell, but uh, how do you, how, I'm trying to remember how to spell beret exactly so I can write this down. B-E-R-E-T. Yeah. Beret. B B E R E T. Oh, okay. Right. Okay, gotcha. It's actually, when you look at it, it's not black. It just looked black in the light. It actually is, ra- it's like a raspberry color. It's like the kind you'd find in a second-hand store. Raspberry. That's... There's only one man who would dare give me the raspberry. Lodestar! <laughs> <laughs> and okay. finally, he reaches, he reaches in and, and pulls out and actually walks over and hands you oh. this rod. I mean, it's not his rod. We're not being gross. <laughs> I, I, I was going weird, to say, uh... we're not making this weird. <laughs> I think I know what this is. Uh, this will help you, Warlock. It will help you keep your pact with your patron and increase oh, your yeah. power. Oh what? yeah, rod of bonk. So, it's so what you got was? Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Right there. I and oh, oh, my God, Rod is the pack keeper. Oh, yeah. that is yeah. a very invaluable item. Well, oh, okay. yeah. It's okay, okay, item. then tell me what exactly it does. It's been a long time. Let me grab it up in the compendium because I don't remember. Hang on, I got it. Well, I need, ah, I need to grab it, it myself because I have to, uh, okay. I have to write it right, Well, I have it right here, so let me read it off. <clears throat> oh, well. All right. But, so uh, that is so. Yeah, you want to read Rod of the Pack Keeper? You can. Yeah. Go ahead. While yeah. holding this rod, you gain a bonus to spell attack rolls and to the saving throw DCs of your warlock spells. The bonus is determined by the rod's rarity. In addition, you can regain one warlock spell slot as an action while holding oh, yeah. rod. You can't use this property again, so you finish a long rest. And since this okay. one's a plus one, yeah. it's uncommon. Yeah, which means essentially nice. I don't I, I get a little bit out of it, but I don't get that much. I get a good I get well, a good bit out of it still. Well every spell you do that has an attack is a plus one to it. Yeah. Every so spell and every spell that has a DC save, it's one plus it's one harder. Hard. That's Yeah. yeah. That's that was that's 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 where all your um that's where all of your uh bonus went to. Yeah, I <clears> like I all of your all of your but your budget went to your budget went to Rod of the Pat Keeper, but you had that That's 500 it. left after I did the other two, so that I figure your uh, comprehend languages would be a fun thing to have and very useful. Uh, all, right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So, uh, so um, who would like to be next? Uh, or as he would say. So, who's next? I'm, I'm just sitting down. I'm just sitting down now. Just, is it you? I'm, I'm Is it you? Is it you? Is it you? 
I think the worst part still looks like he's about to explode into happiness might be better going now. <laughs> I'll go. Before he, oh. before he starts busting a bloody oh, boat. Right. My mechanical For the last friend. time, I am not a robot! Ah, uh, uh, next! Okay, so I'm gonna up my AC by one as well. I'm never. Hey, Nin, he looks, he, he looks, he looks, uh, but he reaches in and he, like, he's pulling up something real heavy and he says, ah. Do you, do you require well, help? Well, forget this. And he... He does the thing where he, like, like the, uh, I don't know if you've ever seen the old uh, I Dream of Genies, he kind of crosses his arms over his chest oh. and, and blinks. And you hear <laughs> a sound behind... You hear a sound right behind you that sounds like this. And when you turn around, <laughs> behind your seat is a, is a full set of plate mail armor. <laughs> and he says, he says, This isn't just regular plate armor. This will keep you very, very protected, Paladin. I see. Mm. Someone's, been a, someone's been a good wolf force this Christmas. And you actually should be able to, on your sheet, Daniel, I can maybe help you with this too. Yeah. On your sheet, if you have your sheet open on the screen. I do have it open. And you go to the compendium, which is the eye up there. And on your character sheet, if you put in a full full plate. Where? where uh, or okay, okay. maybe just put in, type in. Uh, uh, I, I, I'm on the character um, sheet, so. Uh... Plate armor. Type in uh, on the under the eye. If you click on the eye on the far right, under it it'd to get the compendium up. It'd be on the main screen. And <clears throat> and type in plate armor. Uh, hang on, I'm trying to find it. It's a. Uh, and I'm on the char uh, character sheet. Attributes and abilities. Right over to the right, and then the window you where we have our chat. If you look up top, there's a. It looks like a picture. It looks like a newspaper. Then there's an eye with a, in a circle. Oh yeah, 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 I see. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Click that and type in plate armor. Plate armor. Armor. And you should see in the results plate armor plus two. Yes. You can simply drag that over from there onto your sheet and it should put it in your sheet. Okay, so I'm going to manually bring Okay, that so uh, that how is that going to drag it? Hold on, I can do it for you, I think. Um. While you're doing that, uh, though, uh, for my uh, ring of for the ring, of, I think it's the ring of protection. I would add to the global saving throw modifier. Put a wait. one, put a one there. Yes, you. Uh, yes, wait. you would. Hold on, that. Okay. Holy shit! I, I I basically have we now have we now have twenty two new armor class. God damn! damn. Oh, holy damn. shit! <laughs> no, 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 no! I should say like I should say like this. <clears throat> damn! Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna have to get. Uh, I'm gonna have to wait till later to get this, but I need to get the uh, text for Rod of the Pack Keeper, by the way, because I don't have that. I, it's not. I can't search it out. Is it not in the? Okay. No. Um. Hold on. That's the only thing that I want because right now I don't have the text for it. Um. All right. Look in. Uh. It's just for you in the chat. <coughs> and yours is plus one, so. There you go. All right. So he also then he he reaches in and uh, pulls out a pair of boots, and he beckons you over. All right. And of course, I walk over. Yeah. Try try these on for size. All right, and of course, or if you put them to the boots. When you put them on, as soon as you put them on, you notice the wings that shoot out from the ankles oh. of the boots, and you oh. begin to hover. 
Oh yeah. If you will go to that compendium and look up your yeah. new copy of your new winged boots. Oh. Yeah. Winged, oh, yeah. winged boots. While wearing these boots, you have a flying speed equal to your walking speed. You can use these yeah. boots to fly for up to four hours all at once or in several shorter flights, each one using a maximum one minute for the duration. If you are flying, when the duration expires, you descend at a rate of 30 feet per round until you land. The boots regain two hours of flying capacity for every 12 hours they aren't in use. Holy shit, I can fly now? Oh. Yeah. You can fly now. Oh, I mean, it's for a limited, it's for a limited capacity, talk. but you can I don't, fly. I don't, I don't care. Here, I can fly now, bitch! Nice. And uh, obviously, I'm just gonna, I'm pretty much just holding the, I'm pretty much just holding the rod at this point, just because obviously I don't really have, okay. I don't normally have anything to hold. That's so. what she said! So... So, what's the worst travel option? Do we f now travel by crazy taxi goblin, or do we travel by air warforged? I am not carrying a, a you. You have no, you'll have no stay in the matter. The next thing he brings Fly by mighty steed. <clears throat> While you're standing there, <clears throat> hovering above, he says. Um, if if you would mind coming back down, I have more things for you. Uh, well, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, or floats back down. All right. So he he tells you, hold out your hands. And of course, he holds out his hands. Of course. When you do, he pulls out a pair of gloves and he slips them on your hands. And he says. Stay right there. He backs up. He backs up a little bit. Here. See what you can do with this. And he throws a javelin at you. Roll. Roll 1d10. Okay. Oh, oh boy! I think I know where this oh, is going. One d ten. Okay. Go ahead. And what's your dex modifier? Uh, two. Okay. You reach out <clears throat> and you snatch the javelin midair. Oh. What the hell? What the hell was that? And it does no damage to you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sorry about that alarm went he off. He is. Oh. <clears throat> that's fine. Um, he has given you a pair of gloves oh, of miss of missile of missile snaring. Oh. Gloves, gloves of gloves of missile missile snaring. Oh, uh, yeah. You can look it up there. <clears throat> yeah. But he puts them on you. The, 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 hold on, can I, can I read it? Go right ahead. Yeah, go ahead. <clears throat> These gloves seem to almost <clears throat> meld into your hands when you don them. When a ranged weapon an attack hits you while you're wearing them, you can use reaction to reduce the damage by D10 plus your hex modifier, provided that you have a free hand. If you reduce the damage to zero, you can catch the missile if it is small enough uh, for you to hold in that hand. Holy shit! Yeah. Holy yeah. fuck! Yeah. Look at so this this is awesome. this is awesome. our, our paladin is now half monk. This monk well, can do that. Yeah. He's the, no, he's, he's he's the first half of the monk's ability because the monk version of the ability to collect missiles would be able to take that exact same thing and throw it back at the end. Yep. He okay. can't do that though. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. But anyway. right, let, 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 uh, <clears throat> keep going. <laughs> so he sees everybody get very excited. <clears throat> Excuse me, get very excited about the 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 catch. You know, you definitely are all like, "Oh man, that's cool." Like and he looks and he goes, hmm. I feel I may have made a mistake. <laughs> I just what? noticed that you put down your shield. You put down your shield to catch that. 
you wear a shield, your hands won't be free. Pick up your shield, Paladin. All right. Bring it forward. <clears throat> Obviously, already do. Obviously. He reaches out with his. He reaches out with his spectral hands, and touches the shield. Paladin, what is your favorite time of day? I would say sunrise. And when you say sunrise, after he's touched the shield, the shield floats out of your grasp and floats right in front of your arm as if guarding you. Oh. Your, sh your, plus one, your plus one shield that you own has become an animated shield. Shield. Uh oh. Shield. 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 Shield me. So, <laughs> so when you say sunrise, <clears throat> your yeah. shield will float. <laughs> yeah, so it'll be and all that's all I have for you. That's all I have for you, Paladin. Who is next? Mm. Hmm. <laughs> while, while while they're deciding, tying the bag of holding to my uh, to my to like my belt loops, so that way I can. Just Rex, do you mind if I go if? If you don't mind if I go next? No! By all means, I was even I was actually thinking about about you going next. <laughs> go ahead. Sure you will. I mean, regardless, we'd all be going regardless. Yeah. Yeah. So Okay. Step forward, my diminutive friend. I have things for you. He reaches in and tosses you. For good luck. Oh my it's a stone it's a stone of good luck. Yes. One well, of my favorite favorite items. Do you wanna I'm... tell people what it does or you want me to tell tell everybody? Actually, I remember it. What this does is it's like my lucky feet. But in stone form, and I can and, and I can use it with and it has three charges, and I can you and I can reuse it after um a uh, uh, sunrise. Yeah, so I think it's like every, so every he day now he has set. So lucky. hold on, hold on, because that's not what I've got for stone of good luck. Then yeah, hmm. stone of good luck is different. Ah, it's not what you think it is, but it's still good. Yeah, basically, I I get plus one bonus to ability checks and saving throws. Yeah, stone that would be really op if it gave you another yeah. three lucky rolls. That'd that would like, be yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that'd be like a, that'd be like a fate bender thing where you're changing how the laws of you'd be hex and everything like Scarlet Witch. Yeah, um, yeah, or Domino. <laughs> yeah, no Scarlet Witch. So then powers. So Lux he reaches in again. That's anyway, can we... sorry. You want to go? Yeah. And he brings out a small quiver about your size. This will store much more than uh, your body would normally be able to carry. Well, I don't know though. You look pretty strong. <laughs> it's it is of course. What one of the things on your list? Quiver of Ilona. Yeah, and, it is, and that is very much like um, that is very much like almost a uh, bag of holding for of a of a Arrows quiver. In yeah, yep. yeah. Nice. So, so that item um, each it has three compartments. Uh, each one connects to an extra dimensional space that allows the quiver to hold numerous items with never weighing more than two pounds. The shortest compartment can hold up to 60 arrows, bolts, or similar objects. The mid-sized compartment can hold up to 18 javelins. And the longest oh. compartment holds up to six long objects, such as bows, quarter staffs, or spears. Oh. Yeah. 
And then he reaches in and pulls Please. something else out. Put these on your arms, and they will help you to protect you. And he hands you two... And I hand you two bracers. <laughs> he hands you two bracers. Oh, yeah! And they are plus two bracers of defense. It's basically like my it's basically like my ring, but in bracer form, basically. Okay, now yep. let me see what let's see. I mean, I'm trying to remember what um guys it's been a long while since I played with bracers. Oh look a moment. Right. Ah plus eight plus two to my AC. Yeah, yep. so plus two to, to the end itself, yeah. So damn, now oh, damn our, our tanks are coming tankier. <laughs> Yeah, tanks okay. a lot. I mean, I'm, I'm not, I'm not as, I'm not as fragile. Having a 14 means I'm a, at least I have a good percentage of not getting hit half the time now. And considering the fact that I, I tend to draw a lot of aggro once I start, once I start actually getting into really attacking, it's actually yeah. good that I have that. Now. So he then um, reaches in and sees your feet that are generally, I guess, not very well, you know, you're barbarian. Yeah. He says, um... <laughs> and these, and he tosses you two little boots, <clears throat> these will help you get to those giants much quicker. I put them on. You immediately... Oh. He, sa he says, click the heels together. Mm-hmm. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. <laughs> I do that. And when you do so, and you you feel much lighter on your feet, you notice that you are much faster, potentially <gasps> twice your normal speed. Oh, yeah. Walking. Oh, with, hold, hold, your, hold, you... with, your, with your boots of speed. Nice. Holy holy crap, he's got the powers of the speed force. This, this little well, I, got this, I got the powers of uh, speed Gonzalez. That, that too. But he this says, little, little like, Alpha Fucker will be able to run 80 squares in a turn now. Holy yeah. shit! <laughs> he says, but I've saved. But I've saved the best for last. Ooh. And he reaches in and you immediately see what is the hilt of a. What is the hilt of a great sword being pulled out? Very ornate and glowing with like red magic. And before I put this in your. Uh, before I put this in your sheet, I'm going to show it to everybody while I, he tells you what it is. Okay. Oh, okay. This, my barbarian friend, All right. will not only do more damage to creatures you fight, but it will help you keep that rage going that you need so much in battle. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Oh! The blade of fury. Um, yeah. Why are you giving him the crystal from Doom? <laughs> no, no. You know what it is? It's the it's the uh, the sword from a uh, uh, DMC. Um, the one not um not five. <laughs> the uh, I think it's a three. I believe. But you're not rebellion. Oh. Shut up, it's the Blade of Fury. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, oh, mama. Meanwhile, Guts. Guts is over in the... Guts from Berserk is over in the corner looking at his sword going, that's rubbish. I won that one. So this is... Uh, I'm going to pull it from everyone's journal, but Angus, that can you can put that in, use that information to put it in your sheet. It's a plus two. Yeah. The special ability on it is once per day, if you are in danger of losing your rage because you have not been able to hit something and nothing has hit you, you can speak a, uh, you can use a bonus action to cause it to burn hotly in your hand, causing pain and keeping your rage continuing but doing no damage. So that will allow you to continue your, continue your fury even if you're in a situation where uh, your rage may be about to drop. Wow! Otherwise, it's a Otherwise, it's a plus two greatsword. All right, well, yeah. I'm gonna. All right, plus well, two. Um, 
Speaking of that though, what's gonna happen with this old great sword though? Because I, because I um. Yeah. I, know, I, already have, I already have plenty of things. I don't need another sword. I, I have a crossbow well, and a light hammer. When when you get back to a town, you can sell your extra shit. Yeah, that's dope. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely doing that. Oh I'm yeah. <laughs> but. Okay. So just open the uh, picture, copy the text, then that'll be. Oops. There we go. Okay. All right, Who's go next? Uh, oh, Re go uh Rex. Yeah, where these first Rex? Oh, don't let that bard. go. Oh, Bard, I have something very special for you. Mm -hmm. Oh. This. And he reaches in and pulls out like a. Like a... Which is a better way to toggle that. He reaches in and pulls out a very ornate, long, ornate box. And uh, beckons you forward. Okay, now I'm intrigued. I'll be right back. All right. He opens it up, and inside is a it, on a resting on a like plush golden pillow is a very long flute, and you can <gasps> sense the mag you can sense the magic coming off of it. Oh, this yeah. is a one of a kind item. This is one of the many instruments uh of the bard. Come on. Come me some slack, please. Sorry. All right. Come me some slack, please. I'm toggling back and forth trying to narrate and talk as the tiny folk, so... Sorry! Yeah. All right. <laughs> this is one of the, one, of the kind, one of a kind, an instrument of the bard. It was crafted by a famous bard with the last name Windsong. This is the flute of the Windsong. Oh, yeah. oh. Uh -huh. it, it, it's seven. So, for game Go purposes, ahead. it is the same thing as a citern of Mac Mac uh, Furin. Um, but I know you're not a string bard, so I made a, I no. made one. Uh, I made one that you could play because you do uh, you have your pan flute, your flute instrument. So you have when that's what yeah. you do. So. This is uh, specifically tailored for you. The text otherwise is just for uh, the same as the Citern. Um, this was the expensive one. This is the one that runs about 27,000. Um, and it is, that it is that way and, and uh, because um, no one can play it if they're not a bard. So there's some protection yeah. from that. You can play the instrument and cast uh, one of its spells. I'm back. Uh, and I'm back. Um, once oh, it's been used cool. to cast a spell, it can't be cast a spell again until the next day. Uh, yeah. If you cast a spell where you're trying to charm someone and you're playing this instrument at the same time, um, the opponent has a disadvantage to save. Yeah. So it helps you charm people. Ooh. Every instrument, Ooh. Of, Every instrument of the bard, including this, can cast the following spells. Fly, invisibility, levitate, protection from good and evil. What I would suggest you do is drag those spells into your spell um, page, um, and then okay. I would go edit. I would edit the name and just put flute like in a parentheses yeah. beside it, so you know that that's where that's coming from, and you won't have to right. use the thing. Uh, the only thing I know that you have already one of is I know you have cure wounds. But this will give yes. you the ability to cast it without using a spell slot. So basically, you'll, you'll, have, you'll, have, an you'll have an additional cure wound that you can use it. Now, all on. these spells are one per day, and but they yeah. regenerate all at a long rest. So right. basically, this this thing gave you advantages on charming, and okay. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven additional spells. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. Okay. So it gives enemies disadvantage to be charmed. So does that make Flutter a charm caster now? <laughs> ah! How do I? Uh, how do I? I mean, he can. 
How do I mess with that stuff? That's what I'm trying to figure out now. What are you doing? I'm trying to add the uh, plus one to my tax to my tax stuff in my uh, spell save uh, because of my rod. Uh, <laughs> also, also, I present to you, 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 what, you, what Falona looks like when he's play when he's playing this flute. <laughs> spell slot. Uh, uh, uh. I'm looking. Go save modifier. Does he modifier? For, for, for I those, got the, I got the save mod. I got that one now. For those who get the reference, you get a cookie. Yeah. Show global attack modifier field. Um, I got the uh, spell save DC one. I'm just trying to figure out the one for the attack now. Um, mm -hmm. hold on. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm, oh, I'm peeping on your sheet. Um, I get it. Oh yeah, I do too. <laughs> um. I don't know if you can globally do it only on spells is the problem. So what I would do is maybe go in here and add a plus one and damage. Plus, yeah, well, yeah. Uh, I think it's that's what I would the, do. I think it's plus one to the attack roll, I think it is, or? The attack roll. So it would be attack equals spell uh, like this, plus one, like that. Okay, how do, do you that? dragon? Oh, go ahead. Sac look at okay. Sacred Flame and see what I just did. I see it now. Yeah, I, I did it. the spell plus one. Yeah, I would just do that yeah. with my stuff. I'll do that um, with my stuff. Try okay. to drag. If you go on your spell, yeah. if you go on your spell page. So yeah, that's right. Yeah. On your spell page, and you go to the. So let me look. For example, I'm going to go look up on the compendium. I'm gonna, compendium. I'm going to look up uh, oh. bark skin. Oh, do you have do you have your character sheet popped out? Oh, let me do that. Like, real quick. No, no, so you don't it want it popped it, out. It, oh, this okay. Want it to not be popped out that, So that, I'm gonna drag. Be... I'm gonna. If, so I, I looked for bark skin. I found it in the spells, and when I clicked on the compendium and searched for it, I found it. I clicked on it and held it, and then I drag it over, and it'll see. You see, when you pull it over in your spells, it'll say accepting drop from compendium. Oh yeah, now I see it. I just did that, and there's bark skin. So, all right. Oh, um, my God. All right. Okay. Oh, oh, oh my God. Man. And now we are down to you, my roguish friend. Well, it always like to be. Uh, was not in a rush like the others. I wasn't in a rush either. I got I got chosen to go first, so I wasn't in a rush at all. Next is just calmly looking over at the uh, war for to his eager to get his goodies. <laughs> So he he first reaches in and tosses you a tosses you a pair of boots and a cloak that both look of elven design. Oh yeah. Ooh, you know them as, you know them as boots of elven kind. Oh, and a cloak of elven dear. kind. And a cloak. Oh yeah. I have one thing to say now, guys. Huh? You can literally well, go poof in a moment. Ninja, says... vanish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my friend, just wait. You have no idea what I have in store for you. He reaches in and tosses you a pair of gloves. When you slip them mm -hmm. on, they <laughs> seem to disappear. <laughs> to vanish yeah. from your hands, but you can feel that they're there. And you know what these are. Gloves of thievery. Oh, yeah. They are gloves of thievery. You are correct. Um, <laughs> and he's like, he's like Ronco. He's like, but wait, there's more. But wait, there's more. Um, there's more. He pulls out a uh, a a big, almost like a like a duffel bag, and he tosses it, and you can hear like a little bit of chinks, but it just sounds like heavy cloth. Open that up, my friend. When you open it up, it is uh, a pair of studded leather armor. Hmm. Ooh. 
Like, what is Once that's mean? done, it can appear as anything you wish it to. Any, any, any outfit, any armor type. But beware, it will retain the same properties of the leather armor, but to others it will look different. And you know what that is? Mm-hmm. I'm going to put on and just go, all right, I'm walking about in a three-piece suit for the rest of this campaign. <laughs> I am now in a suit. <laughs> I'm in a penguin suit and you can't do anything about it. Now I'm now half tempted to play play nothing suits me like a suit who from who from how about your mother? Hey, Dalebot, literally if this armor goes missing, I'm just gonna shout to everybody, where is my super suit? <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh my god! Yes! Yeah, yes! My super suit. But I need it. I put it away. It's You're talking about suit in danger. Is we're talking about the greater good. Not <coughs> the greater Sorry. good, you'll ever get. <laughs> so, he tosses you an, another small bag. Oh my! When oh you my. open it up, you notice there are two smooth stones carved to look identical to each other. Oh, oh! I think I know where one of those. These are sent. These are sending stones. It will help your group communicate. Oh. Hmm. And I think I think I know where one of them is going because half the time it happens to be me and Nick's communicating half of the time. So. Because I also need I also need you to translate what I say for the people to understand. Yep, that's fine. I'll will take I'll take I'll take one half of it then. What is it? Wood. It's a sending stone. It means that we can basically me and him. I think it. I think it's. A, I don't think there's a distance to it, but regard. I think it's like a. I don't know the distance for it exactly, but pretty much it's a two-way communication. It's like a walking talk. Yeah. Yep. All right. Technically, I'll be at. I'll and add, it I'll does not. It does not appear to have a distance, by the way. Oh, okay. So it's just okay. Cool. I just, it's like first has one, has the other. And then he says, and he says, and for my final gift, this. And he pulls out a belt that has like little utility compartments, like three of them, like off to the left side. And he tells you to come forward. Walks forward. Now, let me show you what this is. You heard of the dust belt? Well, this is the dust belt, my friend. In this pouch, he opens it up, you have four available uses of dust of disappearance when you want to really hide. You can look up dust of disappearance in your thing. You have four uses of them. All right, I, I have the uh, sending I have bottle, in I this, have in this Next pouch, if you're in a situation that's got you, I don't know, all wet, dust of dryness. Hmm. Oh, oh I, I know some shenanigans that can be done with that stuff. And there's two capsules, there's two capsules of this. Oh, yeah. So if you're looking it up, dust of dryness is pretty awesome too. So um, there's two capsules. You 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 can smash the pellet and release water. And basically, when when each packet contains one d6 plus four, and I'm going to tell you right now what that's going to be. Uh, we'll say that each packet contains seven uh, pinches of dust. As an action, you can sprinkle a pinch of it over water. The dust turns a cube of water 15 feet uh, on a side. So a 15-foot cube of water into a marble-sized pellet. So you can dry out a, 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 a fountain, uh, 
potentially if water's dammed up, you could dry up a, a little small pond, potentially. Um, now, then once that's in there, you can take the pellet and smash it against a hard surface. The pellet will shatter and then release the water that the dust absorbed. Not just, not, there's also, so you uh, could, there's also some genetics that be pulled with that stuff. Uh, and if an elemental, a water elemental is exposed to it, it would do, it could potentially do 10d6 necrotic damage to a, yeah. to a water elemental. Uh -huh. Or an so elemental I, creature composed of mainly water. Now, here's the um, thing about that. Uh, the hard surface doesn't have to be against the ground. It could be in someone's jaw. Why? Yeah, so the, the, but think about it like this. You put the pellet in somebody's mouth. Crash the jaw, dude. Yeah. They now have 15 foot of water just exploding into their mouth. Yeah, they're effectively drowning now. On land. <gasps> Damn! Oh, oh, shit! Yeah, we've got also, some shit against their blood. That's badass! Also... And the last one is four... Is, uh... And the last pouch is... Four instances of... This very fine sand... Now, it looks like the dust of disappearance, but if you use an action to throw a handful of this dust in the air, you and each creature that needs to breathe within 30 feet of you must be very healthy or become able to breathe and sneeze uncontrollably. The creatures affected this way, they're incapacitated and suffocating. Uh -huh. Andre and dust of sneezing and Dust of sneezing and choking. Ah. So be aware, you and any other too. creature. Yes, so it is so thirty feet. Um, whenever he, so whenever he you basically have you basically have a little Batman utility belt with three different dusts in it. Yeah. But, uh, basically, if I can just any of these, my utility belt. <laughs> I am not about. I am not about to pull out the shark repellent. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I now need to start me, because I need to do some math when it comes to the uh, gloves of thievery. Okay, I'm gonna... Be right back, guys. Okay, 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 let's make an ironclad rule when it comes to those those gloves you're not allowed to steal from you know, from other party members. I mean, that was oh, don't worry, dear, but they won't be used on party members. No, you can be... trust in me. Why is it that it only makes me trust, trust in you less? Trust in me. And once you're all, as you're all looking over, he, he goes back and closes up the chest. And it slowly vanishes into the floor and the stone covers it up. <coughs> and he says... We have a lot of hope from you. You have generations of small folk that worked very hard and lost lives to prepare and have these items available so they can help you. Make good use of them. And be on your way. You will. Thank you. We very much will. What, 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 whilst you guys are talking, next just walks over in the three piece suit going, sup? <laughs> Rapier we strapped his side, Batman utility belt on. Looking good. You're, you're, and we're gonna pick up next week with uh with when you you know come back out, Toll's gonna talk to you for a little yeah. bit, and then we will get the what will essentially be the hook to where you might want to go next. Okay. Lot of, lot of every, nice everybody, goodies. Every everybody happy with their goodies? Oh, oh definitely. Yeah. Lots of lots not, of not, lots not, of fun stuff. Not exactly everything. Not exactly everything I was expecting, expecting, but I can't complain. Yeah, hey, you don't need to complain. Come on, I got a new toy. Same here. What is that? Hold on, I need to look something up. How much was that? Oh, that's uh, yeah. I. My, my character, she's no wing. Oh, 
damn, my my uh, that that rod was not cheap either. Huh. That was that was half of my that was half of my budget towards that thing. Whew. Damn. Now uh, you guys went for expensive things. I went for very cheap things that just worked very, very, very well together. Well, the, the thing was though, with, with my the only two things I really wanted majorly, well, actually a couple things I wanted was a boost to my AC, the bag of holding, and that's actually those are really that's really it, basically. But uh, the, uh, uh, okay, uh, well, work out. well, now that we've gotten that taken care of, I think it's time we sign off. Yeah. All right. I have been here for one flare for your 98 saying Sauron Flyers. Oh my god, I have been here for your spirit king. And you know what this means now, right? I'm pretty sure with my Pearl of Power and my Rod of the Pack Keeper, I effectively, I effectively have two extra spell slots a day. Cool. Nice. That's awesome. Nice. Yes. Scotty? Was my turn already? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I didn't say too much, so, yeah. You didn't see anything. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the skipper. Rico, status report. Kaboom? <laughs> yes, yes, Rico, kaboom. <laughs> I mean, you've got your goblin and giant sling, um... On podcast since I'm asking 100, and don't piss me off, or you're gonna feel my fury. Hi, <clears throat> and I, of course, have been your kindest, most loved overlord, Ruby Last Red Nair, Diablo 2015. Reminding you yeah. that I'm just a passing through Toku fan. Remember that? That, and uh, apparently, you should always, always make sure to. Had to be had to practice with Tetris because apparently you might need it someday to open a chest. I mean, that guy used to play Tetris. Mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. You guys did that a lot quicker than I thought you were. I, I well, actually made. Good. I was trying not to make it crazy hard. That was really good. Good job on that. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank well, you. the thing was though, with me saying for each of us to focus on one, it was so much easier because we weren't focusing on trying to all cram onto one space first. Yeah. Yeah, it was good. Mm -hmm. You did a good job. Yeah. <clears throat> Uh, don't forget to praise our meme lord, God Dan Corotto. And of course, ciao. We will see you all next time, folks. Folks, also, if you're going out, make sure to wear a mask. Wash your hands. Practice social distancing. Don't be a care here on our chat. And if you haven't already, make sure to... And if you're able to, make sure to get your your vaccine. Ain't you? Yeah, for COVID, we all want to go back outside. Yes. Mm -hmm. And of course, our Ian Marcus says... Good night. Uh, good job, everybody. And I'll most likely kill you next week. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> anyway, uh, a a reminder to or to or to the folks watching. Uh. And uh, we, and we will be continuing our watch party, party soon, because soon because uh, we're almost done with done with Cure Major. Mm -hmm. And uh, once we're done with that, now folks, we move on to the on to the next on to the latest Sentai. Aye. Aye. Right, but uh, we're uh, currently on episode thirty-six of X, which means we only have nine episodes left. Yeah. The mighty nine. Anyway. <clears throat> Anyway, uh, have a good night, folks. Take care. We'll see you all next time. Bye! Laters.